Okay guys, I know a lot of people have been asking about the final product for the container house, so here you go. So you can see it's really large room in here. There's uh, these beams where we took the center panels out and there's a steel flitch plate in there that we've wrapped and covered with sheetrock. So you can see one unit, two unit, three unit, and then you see the other two units, four and five, perpendicular to this one. So it certainly leads for a nice open floor plan. Hall bathroom, a roll in shower. Got all of the recessed lighting and exhaust fans, as you can hear. Full size vanity, commode, little short mirror there. Then on down the hallway, smaller bedroom. Uh, I believe he's going to use this as a study. So it's not real large, and again, there's that beam where these two come together, another mini split. There's a total of five of the electric uh, Mitsubishi mini splits. Um, these gigantic glass sliding doors, which will eventually be a swimming pool out there. Uh, he's elected to push that off for a few months. But uh, as of today, we are complete going for a final inspection today and as you go down into the master it's a laundry room towels and then we we're just kind of doing a little punch out work so we've got some tools here but he's set up for a wash tub and washer and dryer uh, and that vent up there is a fresh air it's all icing spray uh, so in the state of florida when you have a icing sealed home you have to have fresh air intake so that little vent on the wall there is where the fresh air comes in and then it exhausts through there. So here's the master suite. It's very large. It also crosses three containers, as you can see one, two, three. And he's got three large doors. Very large master room, bedroom, especially considering a container house. And then the Again, the doors that are welded open with a overhang, add a little patio. Eventually there'll be some concrete poured out there as well. Master bathroom, again, really large. Full size vanity, and then some. He's got touchless technology on all the faucets. And the commode also has the uh, touchless flush stand up shower roll in. As you can see the blue tape everywhere for the painter punch list. Exhaust fan here we put in the wall and vented out through the wall as opposed to dropping the ceiling any more than we needed to. Uh, and then he also has a door that goes into the main living area. Again. Right here. So I hope you guys enjoyed the project. It's certainly been fun for us. We'll also put up some of the finished photography steel shots that we have for you guys to look at and uh, comment on. So this is Tug with HCI signing out.